This week I'm going to do something a little bit different. I just got word this last week that uh, the church band is going to play. We're going to have an outside in the park service and uh, this is the first time since the pandemic began that we're going to have a service. So I pulled out the bass and I was just messing around with some, some chords on the bass which I don't usually play but I thought it would be interesting to just explain some of the basic chords that really work nice on the bass. Now I'm going to use a 16251 which if you don't know is like the doo-wop style and it's used in, in a lot of jazz tunes so it's, it's going to be something like so that's a 16251 so the chords based on that are going to be going to be a major seventh and they're going to be a minor seventh, uh, minor seventh, and then the fifth will be a dominant seventh. So those, those shapes on a bass are like this. You've got, if, if that's your root note, you play this, you play like this, you're playing you, this is actually the third or the tenth, and then this would be a major seventh here. So, so that shape works anywhere. It works anywhere on the on the bass, which is nice because the, the bass is tuned in perfect fourths all the way across, uh, unlike, a, unlike a six string guitar. Now, I'm playing a six string. Most of these will work on, on a five string bass. Uh, there's just one instance where, where I went down and I used all six strings. But basically the chord shapes are very, very basic and simple. So the first one I showed you was a major seventh. All I have to do is move that one finger like that for the uh, for the dominant seventh and if I want to make it a minor it would be like that. So there's just three basic shapes and then I'll show you how I come about the other ones uh, when we use uh, it basically you know uh, if you're a bass player you, you know that an octave is going to be two strings over and two frets up so you can go you can go any you know either direction so using those we can find some other chords based on these so so here's the basic the basic thing so remember we're going one six two five one back to the one so the first one the, on the one goes like that then I'm gonna go gonna go there and do do the minor <clears throat> I'm going to go up here, do, do another minor, and I'm going to go, go like that for the, for the dominant seventh. All right, so this is the D chord. Here's the G, so G major seven. I'm going to do the same thing again. It's an E, E minor seventh. There's an A minor seventh. And then if I go like this, instead of doing this one, you can duplicate, duplicate that one up there, which, which is something, I'm going across five strings there. All right, so that's, so that's, that's a nice one right there. Now, here's, here's, an, here's some other variations you can do because here, here you have the third, if you want to put, the second or the ninth in it, you've got that nice chord right there. Now the, uh, there's another one too if you that I used at the end. Instead of playing 
uh, the, the major seventh right there, playing a six. So if you want to play a six nine chord, you can play that. So here's something that you can do too. So you know that the fifth is going to be on, the fifth is going to be there. So here's something that, that I did instead of going, so you could go, and then, so that's across six strings, which is kind of cool. So you can see these look like different chord shapes, but they actually originate from those three chords that I showed you in the beginning. So if you click on the, the link to guitarbasement.com this week, you'll be able to get, uh, I'll, I'll put a sheet with those chords in so that you can have them and you can reference them if, if you're interested in, in learning these chords. Now I don't usually do bass, but it's just that this week I was focused on, uh, on getting ready to play with the church band and, and, uh, and I was just messing around with those chords. I thought that that might be interesting for some people. Uh, it's actually a discovery for me, some of these things, because I bought this six string bass uh, just basically because I, I wanted to know what it was like to play one and uh, you know what you could do with it. So, so this is, uh, I'm just sharing what, uh, what I've uh, found and you know, just, just playing around with, uh, with these chord shapes. So I hope you find that interesting and hope you subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like it, hit the like button. And uh, remember, you can go and download that, uh, the sheet with, with those chords on it. And I uh, hope that that might be helpful for you. All right, so that's it from me this week. I hope that was useful. And uh, as always, I like to stay, I gotta speak this week. As I always say, stay tuned and look forward to seeing you soon. Mm -hmm.